Hi, this is Bonnie, and I just got my order from Dyes R Us. I got the um, Lawn Fawn set, the one that is called um, Fly High, and then I got the matching um, die to go with it. And so I have a plan today. I'm going to kind of like do a 3D card. Um, and so I cut some um, cardstock at five and a half inches square, and then I also pulled out three of my um, circle dies I had in my stash. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the sizes of these. Um, this one is four inches. And uh, this one is three and a quarter. And then this one I believe is uh, two and a half. Right. So I made them in that fashion so that I could um, have this different layers. And so the first um, layer is just gonna be plain. And then I did the next layer um, with the smallest die, and then the next bigger, and then bigger. And then I'm gonna um, add all these pieces to it, and I'm also gonna um, put some cloud stamping on this as well. So let's get started. All right, so to get started on my background scene, I wanna do the smallest part first. I wanna make my scene that goes inside of this first. And in order to know where I want to stamp in ink, I pulled out my largest um, piece from the top and then I took my next size down die and I made a pencil mark. So I knew that I needed to um, fill up the space even though only a little bit of it would be showing. So to start, um, I know that I'm gonna be putting um, a sun in there and I wanted to have some idea where that sun would go and the sun is roughly gonna go right there. So I know that I can go ahead and use that right there. This piece is about, let me see, let me measure that really quick for you. I put my, there it is. Okay, this measures about uh, one and three quarters. It's a one and three quarter circle. And I'm gonna be using Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass just so that I can get my outline for my, um, sun that matches with the clouds. So this will just help me know where I need to be putting things by giving me an outline for that. All right, so we've got that set up. Now I have a stencil that I've purchased. It's not from Lawn Fawn, it's one I had in my stash. And I'm gonna be making my clouds with that and I'm gonna, again, stay with inside of that. So I can go outside of it. It just needs to make sure I have it inside. And um, because it's in the background, I wanna use the smaller um, clouds there instead of using the real big ones. There's some real big ones on here that I don't really want in my scene. So we're just gonna go like that throughout knowing that the center part for the most part is what's gonna be shown. Because as you know, this is a bigger circle, so, but I can still keep that in there. And this is really easy. I'm gonna move that over just a little bit so it doesn't look too consistent. And we'll probably do it one more time. Okay, so that should work really great. I also wanna give some color to my sun, and I am using a squeezed lemonade. And I'm just gonna put some color in there by just going around in a circle. Not going outside of it too far because I don't want green so much. <laughs> all right, so we've got that scene now all set up. And so um, the next thing we're gonna do is some stamping in there. And um, I'm gonna stamp um, the smallest balloon inside of there first. And then the rest is gonna be stamped separately and cut out. So I'll be right back, I'll set up my stamping platform. Okay, so I wanted to show you how this is all set up. This is gonna be the paper that goes on top of the background. And I lining up the edges of it so I know where that's gonna be. Now, the next thing I wanna do is know where I'm gonna be stamping this small balloon. And so that is where it's gonna be stamped. And um, 
So I need to put that on there so that I can get stamping. Okay, so I know that I'm gonna be setting it like right there. Okay, so I'll leave that set and I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up. And I am gonna be using, um, because it's a background balloon, I'm gonna be using VersaFine Clear, um, but I'm gonna be using the Morning Mist because it's a light gray and that's what I want in the background. I don't want that ink on there. So that's gonna give us our, um, our look right there. And I'm gonna show you how that will work. It'll be just like that in the background. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step. Okay, so for the next step, I know that I'm gonna be needing a lot of these stamps. So I've got these on my platform for right now. And I know that I'm gonna need these. I'll, I know I'm gonna need a lot more of the clouds. Um, so I went ahead and I'm using VersaFine Clear Nocturne. And I'm gonna stamp these up. And then I'm gonna um, stamp a, a lot more clouds for this um, design. And then I'm gonna color these in. And I will be back um, and show you how we're gonna put that together. Okay, so it took me a little while to get these all colored in and then I um, die cut them. And I used um, Prismacolor pencils to color everything in. And um, what I wanted to show you really quickly is I wanted you to see these without their little um, banners on. And then I was gonna go ahead and put them on so you could see what they look like. I also um, prepared each one of the um, layers for the card. So you can put this on any way. You could even add more than one crisscrossing. You could do whatever you want. Um, but I just went ahead and I know that I think they're gonna go two different directions just for the fun of it. And I also um, stamped out the cute little elephant with his birthday hat on. I'll show you that too. So. I was looking at these, these could almost look like uh, the world. Um, didn't even think of that before. So anyway, let me show you the little cute little, he's super cute, or she, seeing as it's got a pink hat. Um, so basically you just, um, you could actually put this on with glue or if, if you want it to be raised up, it could be a foam dot or a foam tape. So that's what we have for putting on the card. Super cute. And then I made a lot of clouds, but I don't know that I'm gonna be using all those, and I actually did color them in blue. Um, that's just what I did. So I'm gonna show you the card base. This is what um, we worked on before in the background. And so that's that layer. And then the next layer, I've even got them marked so I know how they go, because they could change up a bit. And this is how they're gonna layer up. And I did go ahead and use that same stencil to make the clouds, but as you notice, I didn't do all of it because it's not gonna be shown. I just did as much as what I thought would be shown in this inside circle. And then that would be the last layer. And that's how that's gonna go. And then I'm gonna put these, um, like this one's gonna be on foam dot. And then this one up here at the top is gonna to tuck in. It's gonna be up there. And then I'm gonna start adding some of the clouds throughout. So that's how it's gonna go. All I did was, I'm gonna show you the back side too, is I, I put double-sided foam tape on each one of these layers. And how I'm gonna build it, just to make sure I've got it right, I'm gonna start from the top and go down. So, and then I'll add the clouds throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all three, um, well actually one, two, three, yeah, three layers on top of the, the base that we um, did to begin with. And then um, I've got the two um, balloons already to put on. And what I did is I put three layers of that foam tape. They're not real thick foam tape because I wanted it to be the same. I wanted it to be attached to the background, but be forward. And I also did this, I put two 
on the back because I'm doing one down further. So that's how it's going to go. I'm going to set him right there. And that's what's adhering him. I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind him if I want to. And then this one's going to come just a little bit up there. And then again, that's attached also with the foam tape. So the next thing is the placement of the clouds and where I want them to go. So I'm going to go ahead and see where I want those and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the placement of the clouds throughout. They're not glued down yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You don't need to watch me glue them, but this is where they're all gonna go. And the ones that are um, sitting off to the edge, I'm gonna be cutting those off so it's flush with the card. So that is what the card's gonna look like. I am going to add a sentiment down here at the bottom and um, attach it to a card base. Um, the beginning of the video, I will show you the complete, um, there will be a photo of the complete card. So um, the information and description, it will be down below in the description in terms of what I used um, and um, what's available at the Dyes R Us store. Thanks so much for stopping by.